Hi, this is Joanne, Jojo, I'm back, and I'm getting ready to put the mixture in the oven, but what I'm going to do first is my bread cubes have been sitting in the egg mixture for about 10 minutes, so they absorb some of the eggs, and then what I'm going to do is pour this into a greased 13 by 9 pan, it's already done, I'm just going to pour that in, spread it out a little bit so that get right on every single piece here so it's all flat hey that looks good okay i already have the oven preheated at 350 which is what you want to do now in a separate bowl i'm going to make the topping for it this is the really good part it's a quarter pound of butter which is four tablespoons a cup of pecans chopped pecans and a half a cup of brown sugar packed this is pretty easy so you just mix it all together now there's two ways you can do this you can use a fork, and I need a clean fork, and I'm going to use it. Or you can use a spoon, or you can use your fingers. But I don't like to get dirty, so I'm going to use a fork. Some people like to put their hands in the mud and go ahead and do it. I'm not that person. So while I'm doing this, if anybody was wondering where I got this beautiful jacket, I don't know if you can see it. Let me see. I got this downtown at Shores. Suzanne Cross, she's an amazing woman down there. She's had that business there forever. And if you want to find some really precious finds down there, something that you'll never see anyplace else, go see her and just tell her JoJo sent you. She'll like that. So anyway, how does my hat look? Better? I finally found a hat that fit my head. I don't know if anybody else has problems with little tiny heads. I have a little tiny head. And I could never wear a hat. It was always too big on me. So I went to a place in the mall and I said, I love this hat, but it's too big. So the guy says, I can fix that. I'm like, huh? So I'll take it off to show you. Inside the hat, see the rim here? Or brim. I don't know what they call this. Brim maybe. There's a piece of styrofoam. And he just stuck that in there. Like that. And it fits. How crazy is that? Okay, so this is nice to mix together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my fingers anyway. It's easier than to put it on like a fork. So see how it's mixed? Sort of like sticking together. What I'm gonna do is, I need a bigger camera. So, just so you can see, I'm gonna put this down here so you can watch what I'm doing. So you're gonna take this and you're gonna crumble it on top. So this way you can get it even all over the top. And this makes a really sweet pecan crispy crust. How bad can that be? And then what you're going to do is you're going to put it in the oven for about 35, 45 minutes until it gets a little brown, but you'll smell it. It smells wonderful. Okay. And that's it. Now your hands are all sticky from doing that, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do is make sure it's all good. Like this. Throw it in the oven. As I said, preheated oven 350. 35 to 45 minutes, and you're done. Now I'll come back and show you how I make the most amazing sauce. And why isn't it amazing? Because it's got alcohol in it. All right, be back. Bye.